All right, we're going to continue to talk about combining like terms, um, but this time we're going to talk about combining like terms with the distributive property, okay? But before we get there, we're going to review combining like terms, and we're going to view, review combining like terms with shapes. So first, let's review basic combining like terms, so make sure you have your highlighter with you. So here I have a 9, I have a negative 3, here I have a positive 24x to the third and a negative 12x to the third. So I have 9 minus 3, which is 6, and I have 24x to the third minus 12x to the third, which is 12x to the third. So my highest power goes first, so that's 12x to the third plus 6 for my final answer. All right. For my next one over here, I have a 4K, I have a positive 9, a negative 1, and I have a negative M. So my 4K cannot combine with anything, neither can my negative M. But then I have a 9 minus 1, which is 8. So I have, all of my powers are 1, so I'm going to put it in order, um, alphabetical order. So I'm going to have 4K minus M, because it's a negative, plus 8. There you go. All right, and then let's do one quick review of combining like terms of shapes. So this is a rectangle, so if this is 2W to the third, this is also 2W to the third. If this is 7F plus W to the third, this is 7F plus W to the third, okay? So we're going to go ahead and write our expression out so we can combine like terms. So 2W to the third, and check it off, plus 7F plus W to the third, plus 2W to the third, plus 7F plus W to the third. All right. So here we have 2w to the third, positive w to the third, plus 2w to the third, plus w to the third. And here we have positive 7f, positive 7f. Let's go ahead and combine like terms. So 2w to the third, plus w to the third, plus 2w to the third, plus w to the third. In order from left to right, so 2w to the third plus w to the third is 3w to the third. Bring down the rest of the problem. 3w to the third plus 2w to the third is 5w to the third. Bring down the rest of the problem. And then 5w to the third plus w to the third is 6w to the third. All right, now I have my green here, so 7f plus 7f equals 14f. All right, now I just need to put together my final answer. So my highest power is going to go first. So 6w to the third plus 14f. And that's going to be my final answer. All right, now let's talk about combining like terms with distributive property. So Step one is you're going to look at the problem and determine where you can distribute. A big hint is simply look for the parentheses and look for the term that's directly outside the parentheses. You're already very familiar with distributive properties, so just find the term that is connected to the parentheses. In this case, here are your parentheses and here's the term that's right outside of them. The term that's right outside of them is the term that you're going to distribute. So step two actually go ahead and distribute that term, okay, and then rewrite the rest of the problem. Step three is you are going to combine like terms. So let me show you. 10 times 3m is 30m. 10 times k is positive 10k. Then I brought down the negative 7m and the positive 14k. I highlighted my 30m, my negative 7m, my positive 10k, and my positive 14k. 30m minus 7m is 23m, positive 10k plus 14k is 24k. And I made a big mistake because that is not my final answer. It should be 24k. I don't have it in alphabetical order. It should be 24k plus 
m. So this would be my final answer right here. Not a big mistake, but a minor mistake. All right, so let's take a look at one of these problems. So identify where your parentheses are. Here are my parentheses. Here's my term outside, so I need to distribute. So 3 times c is going to be 3c. Distribute to the next one. 3 times 3 is positive 9, so plus 9. Bring down the rest of the problem, plus 7c. Now, go ahead and combine like terms like usual. I have a 3c, a positive 7c, and I have a positive 9. So I have 3c plus 7c equals 10c, and then I have a 9 that's by itself, so my final answer is 10c plus 9. And that's it. Let's take a look at the next one. We have some negatives in this one here, okay? So identify where your parentheses are. They're right here. Here's the term on the outside. Distribute. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. 5 times x is positive 5x. Bring down the rest of the problem, which is minus 2x. All right, let's go ahead and find our like terms. So here's a negative 20. Here's a positive 5x and then a negative 2x. So we have the negative 20 can't combine with anyone. But then we have 5x minus 2x, which is 3x. So remember our variables come before our constants, so 3x minus 20 is going to be our final answer. All right. Now again, look for your parentheses. Here they are. Look for your term outside. Here it is. It's a negative number, so be careful. So negative 12 times x is negative 12x. Negative 12 times 2y is negative 24y. Bring down the rest of the problem. Minus 6y minus 3x. All right? Now we need to go ahead and combine like terms. We have negative 12x, negative 3x. We have negative 24y, negative 6y. So we have negative 12x minus 3x, which is negative 15x. And then we have negative 24y minus 6y, which is negative 30y. Take them in alphabetical order for the final answer, negative 15x minus 30y. Okay, next problem. Find your parentheses, they're right here. Find your term outside, right here. Let's go ahead and distribute. 2 times a is 2a. 2 times 1 is positive 2, so plus 2. Bring down the rest of the problem plus 17a. Go ahead and combine like terms. So we have a 2a and a positive 17a, and then we have a positive 2. So we have 2a plus 17a equals 19a, and then we have a 2 hanging out by himself. So our answer is going to be 19a plus 2. All right. Next problem, find our parentheses. They're right here. Find our term outside, right here. All right, so let's distribute. 10 times negative 3x is negative 30x. 10 times negative x is negative 10x. Bring down the rest of the problem. Now let's go ahead and find our like terms. We have a negative 30x, a negative 10x, and then a negative 12 on its own. So negative 30x minus 10, oops, I forgot my x's. Negative 30x minus 10x equals negative 40x, and then the negative 12 is on its own, so my answer is negative 40x minus 12. Okay, up here, find your parentheses right here. Find your term outside, right here, and then distribute. 8 times negative 7x is negative 56x. 8 times positive 5y is positive 40y. Bring down the rest of the problem, minus 6y minus 3x. Find your like terms, 
Here's a negative 56x, a negative 3x, a positive 40y, and a negative 6y. So here we have negative 56x minus 3x, which is going to be negative 59x. And then we have a, um, oops, that's going to be a positive 40y minus 6y, which is going to be 34y. Put them in alphabetical order, negative 59x plus 34y. All right, you try these two. All right, if you're not done, go ahead and hit pause. And if you are done, let's review. So for the first one, after you distributed, you should have gotten negative 16y minus 24y minus 10. And when you combine like terms, you should have gotten negative 40 minus 10. For the second one, after you distributed, you should have gotten 12k minus 28y minus 9 minus x. And after you combine like terms, you should have gotten 12x minus 9, or sorry, 12k minus 9x minus 37y. All right, that is it for this lesson. We have lots more practice to do in class. Let me know if you have any questions.